You guys smell that? It's summertime. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We're having a fantastic summer-filled week. So as of June 20th is officially summertime. We have hit hot ghoul summer. Are you ready for it? If not, this video hopefully will help you get to ultimate summer spookiness. I have some things I want to share with you guys, mostly small business to help hopefully spookify your summer and get you through the probably hot weather you will be having. Warm. I want to be pool ready and I want to help you guys be pool ready as well. So I'm going to start with some clothing items and then I have some fun accessories to show you guys. So let's get through this summer haul. And if you guys have any good old summer spooky items you want to share with all of us, please let me know down below. I'd love to see and hear what you guys have found to help us brave through the summer so we can get to Halloween time. So as you can see, I have my swimsuit on. I got this last year uh, on Disturbia, but I wanted to pair it with some good flip-flops. So I have two flip-flops to show you guys, and one of them is a thong style and one is a more slide style. So starting off with the more thong style. So here are the first pair of flip-flops I have. These are from Strange Colt and these are $45. These feature little black bats and I got these in a size seven. So in case you didn't know, I am normally a size seven, have very wide Donald Duck feet and I got these in a size seven and they fit perfectly. I have no issue getting my feet through these straps here, which was my main concern when I bought them. But if you also suffer from Donald Duck feet syndrome, like yours truly, no fret, you can get your feet through these bad boys. My feet on the sides hang off just by a couple millimeters, I'd say, but it's not uncomfortable. I don't feel like my foot is overflowing in them, so I love these. If you're not a big fan of bats, don't fret. They have so many different styles. They have pumpkins, they have the creature from the Black Lagoon. If you like the bats, if you want them in a different colorway, they have them in orange and blue. So many different colors to pair with your swimsuit this season, so definitely recommend these. And don't forget, they always have a discount code, so make sure you put that in. I believe it's still F as in Frank, B as in Boy 20, so you can get 20% off, but strange cold. Got some cute flip-flops to pair with your swimsuit this season. Then another pair of flip-flops I have are more of the slide sandal style, and they are these ones. So these are from the company M and Sprout. They are so stinking cute. They have these in orange and in black. They also have ones with little ghosts on them, so they also have plenty of styles to match with your swimsuit. These were $27. I got these in a European size 37, currently on Etsy, where I bought these in the description box. She does say that she recommends that you guys size up. They didn't have the size 8 equivalent, only the size 7 equivalent, so I ended up getting these in my normal size 7. Again, they do fit, however, I would definitely go with what she recommends if you can and size up one size. For me, these shoes are pretty good long ways. Uh, my heel does go to the edge, but they still fit fine. The main problem and probably why she recommends sizing up is it's a little tight, at least for my feet on the jack-o'-lantern part here. So again, they do fit. However, I do think they'd be more comfortable uh, if I had sized up. Moving past flip-flops, uh, I guess if you guys are curious, we'll just talk about my sunglasses really fast. They are from the company Quay of Australia. Uh, I don't know if these are still available. However, I have seen really cute sunglass options on Killstar that look very similar to these. If you guys have any really cute gothy or spooky sunglasses, please let me know down below, especially if they come from small businesses. I've had not the best luck finding them, so if you guys know of any places that sell really cute sunglasses, let me know. Moving on from accessories, what are some options that we got to dry ourselves off when we come out of the pool or beach, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you did. The first option I have is from Target, and this is just a really good one. If you need to tell right away and you just need to head down to your closest Target to buy one, guess what? They have one 
fit for our spooky little souls. And they offer these black and white striped ones. So it's black and white striped on this side and then on the other side it's gray and white striped. But I think this would be so cute to bring to the beach. I think this was only I want to say 12 to 15 dollars. Can't quite remember the price. I bought this a while ago. But look at you walking down the beach looking all spooky and ready to douse yourself in sunscreen and hide in the shade. So here's one option that you can find hopefully pretty easily at your local Target if you need a towel right away and can't wait to order one online. But if you can wait to order one online, I got a good one for you guys. So this is called the Black Widow Round Towel. And as you can see, it's round, features a spider web and has a spider in the middle. And I love the little fringe around the outside here. I think it's so cute. This towel is from the company Not Your Average Babe. It is so cute. So not only can you use this as a towel to bring to the beach, I've also seen some people use this as a rug that they put on their floor, which I think is a really good idea if maybe you're not a beach or a pool person. And this was $35. So heads up when you order this towel on their website, it does say that the pre-order takes two to three weeks. So along with your towel, what else might you enjoy at the beach? Great question. A lot of good answer for you. A pool float. Who wouldn't love to lounge around on a pool float out in the pool or in the river? So I got a good one for you guys and it is very mysterious, Rachel. What could this possibly be? Well, it is a coffin shaped pool float from Black Craft Colt. Here I'll pop a picture of what it looks like, but don't you worry. We're gonna try and blow this up together after I'm done with a little haul portion of this video. Cause I'm curious to see what this is like in person and I figured we could do a dramatic montage of me attempting to try and blow this up myself because I don't have anything uh, to do it with besides my air that I have provided inside my body. Later that evening. So this pool float from Black Craft Colt cost me $70. However, I did get it on a sale. I ended up getting this for only $42, which I feel like is a pretty good price for this pool float. So unfortunately, this is sold out right now on Black Craft Colt. However, if you do need a pool float, I have seen some other ones on Killstar. If you need a good pool float, they also have some different shapes on Black Craft Colt. They have a planchette. If you need a pool float and you can't wait for the coffin one to come back in stock, you have some more options there. So I have one more thing to show you guys and this would be great to put on your patio or maybe if you go to the beach and want to hang out at night by a fire pit, this could add some cute ambiance. And it is this bat lantern. This is from Alchemy of England and I got it for $35. You can also find it on other websites like Sarapus Clothing. The best part is it's solar powered. See, look. <gasps> If I can get it to light up here in not so sunny Portland, hopefully you can get it to light up wherever you are in the world. So super cute, I love it. Those are all my summer spooky essentials I have for you guys. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you have any other cute spooky items that we could enjoy this summer season. Interesting, very interesting. If you guys have any that you found that I didn't mention in this video, please, enlighten us share your good finds in the comment section below now let's cut to the epic montage of me attempting to blow up this coffin pool float here and dance around and be silly outside i was originally going to film this video when it's raining outside because i thought it was just so portland fitting uh that it would be raining in june but of course within the span of a couple of days it is now sunny and i missed my window opportunity to dance around in the rain being a goof with a giant coffin pool float outside so we're just gonna enjoy this on my patio deck together so cue montage um <laughs> this is gonna need a lot of air i could literally faint Number one, 
don't recommend doing this with lipstick on. Number two, um, I'm just gonna put this out there. Disclaimer, don't try this at home. You could pass out. You could be low on oxygen. Don't recommend if you have a thing that you can use that's electric to blow up items such as this. Uh, yeah, do it. So, you can hear my neighbors in the background as well as the traffic outside, so we're gonna go back to not talking. summer like hope you guys enjoyed this haul of all these spooky summer finds that i've been able to track down and get this summer season do you guys have any summer plans i don't really but i do have plans for my birthday so i'm pretty excited about that since it's the end of june you know what that means halloween say halloween 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 in stores is gonna be coming up very, very soon, and I cannot wait. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for my Haunting for Halloween decor series, and we're gonna have a good old spooky time together this summer season. Until then, I hope you guys have an awesome yet spooky week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!